The land is our foundation and Land Synergy is here to solidify and restore. Join us as we connect the dots of land restoration, sustainable practices and self-sufficiency. It's time to get rooted. Welcome back to Land Synergy, guys. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, some gardening and also children. And both, pretty much how they both mix. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. So, uh, guys, recently, I guess uh, one of my sons has been caught with the garden bug. And I'm sure anyone who plants something, when you plant something, you start to see it grow. It's just, it's amazing, that, that process. And so he planted an acorn tree, or uh, an acorn sapling. And he's just been watering it. And I was so surprised the other day. We came home from church. and um, Or not from church, from the park. And he came and just went straight to the plant. And it was just, it just hit me. Like all the practices that you would like to, if you do have children, you know, just putting them in the foundation or the environment to do that. Like, him not wanting the plant will teach him a lot about caring for things. It's like all these these uh, subtleties within this simple practice. And for us, it is fall where we're at, and we're get we're gearing up for some fall planting. We got some uh, pumpkins that we've just planted, um, and I don't necessarily know if this was the time to plant it. So, you know, I I don't really <laughs> I don't know exactly. It said, uh, I think, spring and fall, so that's why I'm going to buy it. This is, like, my first full year, guys, for, if I didn't share this, like, going into gardening, like, doing it big. And so um, I got some kale, some peas, and um, some kale and peas and some carrots that I'm going to plant. And this, guys, it's just, for me, it's just learning. Like, some of these things, these plants that I've read, they say you shouldn't plant. And it's just learning empirically, you know, experientially from your own experience. And like we've talked about before with the cucumbers and tomatoes, great harvest. You know, the whole practice was really simple, guys. I mean, I really, it, it was amazing how, like, I pretty much outlined, I think I did more work than what was necessary for the cucumbers. But just outlining that patch in the ground, and um, I did put some compost in the ground, and um, you know, I dug it up, the, the dirt and the soil, which is probably too much, but you know, I'm okay with it because it taught me a lot. Maybe <laughs> that I did too much work, you know, it's always something to learn. And so as far as the premise for today's video, guys, is simply this gardening. If you have children, putting them in an environment to grow their own plants, this will teach them, you know, pretty much about caring for things and being consistent and then personally just wanted to give a little outline of where we're at with gardening we got some um got some plants growing and um well not growing yet but we've just planted some pumpkin and we got um we got some kale peas and corn that is getting ready to be uh, planted and then transplanted. Um, also, quick note, guys, um, with your compost, if you have a compost, uh, I'm actually reading this great book. Let me look it up for us real quick. Um, it's an audio book that I'm currently reading, and it is right here. It is Compost Everything. The Let me just put it. Chapter 3. that okay compost everything the good guide to extreme composting and so okay this essentially guys great i'm just you know i like to refresh my um ideas not my ideas but the ideas and just keep them fresh keep learning and specifically this um one of the premises that was outlined is the importance of um adding carbon to your uh, compost piles and so for me 
every time now when I dump any um, scraps in the um, the pile, I add the same amount of leaves just to mitigate any type of confusion. So maybe that's something that you can employ as well, so that you don't um, you don't get stressed over the managing the piles because if you're adding you know nitrogen rich scraps and whatnot, and then um, balancing that with carbon from your leaf pile or your um, whatever nitro, um, carbon source you put in, then you can keep, you can save mental capital. So whatever, however much scraps you're putting in, just put the same amount of leaves. That's a quick little tidbit that I learned from this book. So that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. The uh, website is coming soon. Yes, yes, the website is coming soon. Um, if you'd like, feel free to give a review. You don't have to. If you're tuning in, we'll get to that point where we continue to keep growing and whatnot. But the premise is to help synergize the land. And if just one person, we help one person do that, that's enough. So with that, guys, until the next one, keep getting it, keep learning, and I'll talk to you in the next one.